Hey guys, welcome back to the new war. As always, spoilers lie ahead. This is number six in the series, so if you haven't seen the other five, make sure you see those first. And if you haven't done the quest, again, spoilers lie ahead. So if you wanted to do the quest yourself first before you see any, turn off. So, here we are in the Broken Orbiter. We're up in the upstairs bit at navigation. So the next quest we have to do is enemy of enemies now i absolutely am terrified of the um new navigation with the nama but um at the moment we are playing as the drifter we are in we're basically a single person at war with nama we have got we did just have the help of little duck in the last one so Hopefully there's some other faces that might still be there to help us. But honestly, I really have no idea. Like, I'm kind of scared. We use the Nama Corpus ship to get ourselves in, disguise ourselves well. This confirms that you are clearly insane. Peas in a phylopod orders. Stay close in case I come to my senses. Got to descend down into rain. Exalted. The dissident remains entrenched in the shadows below. The sea Whoa, runs who are these? with the blood of our faithful. But I will prevail. Disciple car Newton. I don't like her. Whoa. Was that a stalker flicker? Why do I get this feeling that the stalker's gonna come after us in a minute? Wait. Whoa. The unclean spirit thins are heard from the shadows. Will not matter, my faith is too strong. The light of Narma will bring it the truth. All as one. That's not how it's gonna work, is it? Narma won't succeed. Not as long as I am the drifter. I do quite like this pistol. The overcharge thing is very useful. Oh my god, I'm incredibly weak. Oh. Oh, okay, Stalker seems to be helping us. light. 
I am not afraid. Balasus. His love is within me. All is one. All us. Whoa. Hun Hao? Don't like that. You are just as incomplete as she is. No metal beasts, no void fury. They will snap you in half and so help us on how. Yes. Help you. Of course. What are friends for? Let me explain what you are up against. Friend. You see, the Archons were made by my son, Era. Hybrid abominations of the old war. Raised from the blighted battlefield. Oh my god. So, Era made these Archons. I've seen the snake before. I've seen the snake before. You know Naira, the eldest. Her whip cracks with an Eidolon's wrath. Bone-shattered shockwaves unleashed by every unfurling of its tip. Her whip is more than pain. It is protection okay. and more. For if you stand in awe of its spiral, the great thunderclap that follows will knock you senseless. Though she may be diminished somewhat by this exertion. And her gaze. To meet her gaze is certain death. Only by turning away would you hope to survive. Okay, so that one... So she's got like a petrifying glaze, like Medusa, I'm assuming. So this one's a wolf. Okay. What do they call the wolf? Amar. He will gnash his fang blade, filling the air with deadly coils of flame. Survive the flame. And you might see frenzy, a relentless fury of slashes. Only the greatest of force will subdue him in this. Should he howl, the pack will appear. Mirrors of himself meant to confuse. Only the okay, so he's got that ability a little bit like Mirage did, where he can clone himself. Okay. Is that an owl? The owl is named Boreal. His trident strikes from a great oh God. distance. Deadly, chaotic arcs. One might avoid them with a keen eye if you can anticipate their faint threads before. Even the very ground you walk upon will become Boreal's weapon. He may have 
I'm not on the Alliance at this moment, but it is not obvious. So because they're like Warframes, they actually have so abilities. Understand. I understand. A weapon as old as those you hunt. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hunhouse. Whoa, I've got a cool new bow. So this new bow is called Natterock, okay. Use a restorative just to get ourselves back up a little bit more. Because one seven six health is arguably not much. If you are worthy of nether luck, you will mind grotesque. Whoa. just testing us on our way out of here. That I can move with. Okay. So if you do if you do a really short one and just basically tap it you get just like a normal bolt. If you hold it down you get these charge bolts which you've got to use to kill the archons and authorists and other sentients that are like that sort of level of strength. Okay. Got it. Must study and prepare. 
Has has Hunhao just given us a load of uh Wow. Hunhao's basically just given us homework. It's pretty mad. Okay, gravelists. I get the feeling that I uh, should probably take these things out. Oh wow. They stop the elevator and try to, like, go to us and, like, blow up in our faces. That's really annoying. Oh, nah, because the elevator's broken. We've got to switch elevators. No. Okay. Perhaps before we go up that elevator, I should take out the next lot of gravelists. Ah, oh, you can't. That's annoying. They're immune until you start moving the elevator. That's really annoying. <laughs> I very much like this weapon. It is very cool. I'll try and work out how to get up and out and past any more sentience or Nama fighters. I just gotta go back out the way we came in, but fighting Nama. Swung on the wall. Okay. We can get out of here, alright. Okay, so we've got more elevators, which means we're going to have more gravelists. They're arguably hard to spot. And hit. Okay. Gotta use the pipes and where it's just exploded to try and get out. Okay. And we're still being attacked by Nama, well, Tyra Battlists, so. They're kind of Nama forces, but. I can hardly 
bastard even gave me homework. You cannot kill the devil, Tenno. Ooh. Right. Run the Zarm and we're in class. Wait, the seven? It's like Fortnite. We are one? Hang on. Makes sense, but I've just noticed the class is actually narrated by an Entrati member, Euleria Entrati. Okay. And leave the static past behind, discarded, consigned to unreality. The future remains to be discovered. But is less real than even the past. Wait, Euleria Entrati? She sounds a bit like Mother. She sounds like Mother from the Entrati family actually down in Deimos. We see the shadows on the cave wall, but not the hands that cast them. The voice <coughs> offers humanity the truer telling of eternalism that now is merely a facet of a great block. It is relative, and we can change the frame. The tyranny of the present absolute is overthrown. Wait. Tomorrow is now its equal. Further reading beyond the wall of Locke. As in... Okay. A. Entrati is Albrecht Entrati, who is... The, he's the guy that went into the void before. And then the palimpsest of space-time, A and E. Entrati, I'm assuming, is Albrecht and Euleria Entrati. So, we're getting a bit more of the Entrati family. I've got that one. Futurism. I know it. Eternalism. It's futurism. Correct. Presentism and eternalism are the principal theories of time. Question two. What is the principal failing of presentism? It considers the present to be the only reality. It has never been endorsed by an Archimedean of unblemished standing. It's it definitely... A, it considers the present to be the present to be the only reality. Okay. I'm actually doing well on this test. I don't think you need to pass the test though. Will survive. Only one of her parents will die. Her 
I'd go for C. Her parents will survive, her parents will die. Because there's infinite realities. Okay, that's simple enough. Okay, so making the void jump balance of it. And that's the end of that scene. Okay. Ah, so back in the present with the drifter now. Okay. And we have our next mission. The Wild Hunt. But I'm going to save that for the next video. So with that in mind, guys, thanks for watching this one. I hope you found it enjoyable and fun to watch. And I'll see you all in the next part of the new war.